you know so i've heard so many people refer to this the devil comes to steal kill and destroy right <laughs> and i mean it's good fine you know john 10 it's it's sharp but here's the deal <clears throat> when somebody <laughs> how do i put this if i come face to face with you and you're trying to steal from me okay i'm going my response is going to be very different to if i come face to face with you and you're trying to kill me okay again different if i come face to face with you and you're trying to destroy me like it's not the same thing right so it's important that we know if satan is stealing if he is killing or if he is destroying um as we engage with him because we don't address him the same way if somebody's trying to kill you homie sometimes the only way to end that sprawl or duel whatever the word is right is it's like last man standing it's either i'm gonna die or you're gonna die okay if somebody's trying to steal something from you guys even the even the, the bible even gives us different responses right if somebody's trying to steal from something from you and you catch them stealing from you right then restitution baby you know what i mean like it comes then they actually they owe you seven times more so if we're just walking around saying the devil comes to steal kill and destroy and we're not actually paying attention to what he is doing how how is satan attacking you okay so that you can um i don't even want to say defend yourself properly um but like so that you can guard your heart right because we don't want to find ourselves on the def on the we don't want to find ourselves in defense all the time right we can also attack which is i think what is beautiful about um the just the the the, 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 the message of the gospel right is that it actually empowers us so that we can be on the offense and not on the defense so um what was i saying now Ish, guys you can see i'm thinking anyway so um stealing killing destroying yeah if he's coming and he's trying to destroy me right so like you look i somebody actually said it the other day and it's pretty cool they're like um ish, what who was it ah i don't remember i'm gonna look and i'll i'll see if i can but they said you know if you want to see um if you i think it was ezekiel where he was saying look to see where and what the enemy is attacking in you um and use that to I think it was like to reveal or to just to identify what God is trying to work out of you. Something like that. I said it terribly. But, um, you know, somebody said something like that the other day. And I thought that is so true. Like, um, I don't know if you know me or not or whatever. But so the biggest um, path, right, that Satan used with me growing up was rejection. Like, big guys, I can't even explain. Okay. Um, every time I have conversations with people are like around it they're just like how are you this person if you know that's part of what you've gone through um, but the thing is it made so much sense to me because knowing that rejection was such a big thing for me when God introduced himself to me yeah. <laughs> right um, knowing that rejection was such a big thing to me when God introduced himself to me he introduced himself to me as father right and in father the I don't even want to say the attribute because it's not even attribute but the the, the one thing that he was like nah nah there's other stuff but we are going to zone into this was love like I he was like Katie you and I we are going to walk this journey until you know that you know that you know that you know that you are mine and as soon as that thing clicked in me guys it's actually it's insane like um i'll have conversations with my sister or my mom sometimes now or even just some friends where i'll be like oh you know this happened today um and it made me chuckle and i'll be like oh no and i'll be like no no i'm aware right i know how he has used or how he uses rejection to kill in me I know how he uses rejection to steal from me and I know how he uses rejection to destroy me like it's it's all rejection but those th the, the when the three different outcomes look very different in how he 
how he approaches me right so there's things also that i actively do to make sure that none of that stuff takes root in my heart none of it takes root in my heart i just go to church and it doesn't look like there's many people here people must come guys go to church on sundays don't play games here anyway so um so yeah i just i want to encourage us this morning you know like legit it's it's not just the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy, and God comes to give you life and life in abundance. Like, be a, be aware of what the enemy is using in your life, um, so that as you plan your attacks, also you can, you know, you can look out for those things. You can ask people in your life that you trust to check you, yo, ooh, to check you. I mean, literally, like they check me down to my intentions. You know, but Katie, does this have anything to do with your past? what is the actual um, attitude of your heart you know like they will ask real questions to check you to make sure that um the enemy doesn't have it's like it's not free for all here because the thing is what we want to do remember we want to guard our heart right jesus says, guard your heart for from it flow the issues of life so we want to guard our heart so we don't want to allow satan to even hook even just a little bit you know we don't want any of that stuff to take root because as soon as we allow some, him to grab hold of something, then it means he's got he's got access to us, and we don't want him to have access to us. Actually, what we want to do is we want to live, you know, we want to walk in the spirit, walk in the spirit. I will say, I've said it before, and I will say it again, guys. Overcoming the desires of the flesh is not about fighting the desires of the flesh so that we can um, say we're standing overcome. Okay. I was standing over as overcomers. Galatians 5. It says, walk in the spirit and you will not fulfill the desires of the flesh. Okay. Uh, that's it. I'm going to judge. Bye.